Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pours. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a turning viewer, well, welcome back friend. It's so good to see you again. So for today's pour, what are we doing today? I am going to be doing a ribbon pour, but it's sort of, I, I'm gonna play. Let, what am I doing today? I'm gonna play. I've got some pearl, um, pearl mix mixed up here. My acrylic loft soft body with my deco art satin enamel. I've got this mixed up. It's going to be the base. I'm going to see what I'm going to see what pearls and what doesn't today. I'm kind of I'm trying out a few different kinds of paint here. Um, we've got my Liquitex Basics, you know, tried and true love different colors than I usually use, though. I'm going with a much more muted and sort of earth tone palette than I usually do. I tend to gravitate towards like really bright colors. And today, maybe it's because it's cloudy outside and kind of rainy, even though it's uh, June. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little more muted and earth toned today. So that is uh, the palette that I mixed up. I have my golden fluid acrylic iridescent gold fine, which this is, I think, my favorite gold ever. And I don't expect this paint to do a lot of pearling up. I, it might a little, or we'll find out, but I don't expect it to, it hasn't in the past. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that kind of stays strong throughout the piece. Um, I am trying the a, a different kind of paint today. This Win, Windsor and Newton Galleria Acrylic. I have it in three different colors. Pale Olive, Pale Terracotta, and Windsor Blue, which I just love this palette just as it is. The Pale Olive reminds me of Mint, but it definitely is a little, um, definitely a little richer with more of a green. Green, um, not that Mint isn't green, but it's darker, so. Now, these paints I mixed up pretty thin. They leave a trace. These paints leave a trace. I would call them um, slightly thicker than the satin enamel, but I mixed them three parts paint to one part Floetrol and really did thin them down to a um, very fluid Dutch pour consistency, but slightly thicker than the satin enamel pearl base, okay? So I also have Liquitex Basics in raw umber and unbleached titanium, two colors I don't use very often, but I do think that they are uh, lovely kind of earth tone um, base. Like, I think that they are just really lovely, subtle, um, like strong earth tone colors that I always enjoy and other people use them. So I'm gonna try them out. And then of course the gold that we went over. So that is the palette today. If you are interested in how I mix up my paint for satin enamel pearl pours, I will of course link that video in the description. I have a video on how I do it and I'll link it there and uh, be sure to check it out because I've seen a lot of people get great success with this mixture and it's awesome to see. So check it out, try it out. And yeah, that is the palette. I'm gonna bring it down and we are going to get to probably layering a cup. I think I'm gonna be layering a cup. Let's layer a cup, let's go. As always guys, I'm experimenting. So I'm on a constant, constant experiment. Um, and I'm not sure how the Winston Galleria, Windsor Galleria paints are going to um, react because I've never used them in this kind of pour before. I know Liquitex paints will should react well. I know the golden fluid acrylic probably won't react much, at least not the gold. Um, but these are all my hypotheses based on previous pours. <laughs> so I do plan on doing some individual ribbon colors, but I want to create one cup, not full. I do not want to make a full cup, but I'm going to fill it probably like halfway with all of the colors and do do that too. So I'm going to start with the gold. I might do two cups. Yeah, let's do two cups. I'm going to do two cups. I'm going to layer them the same though, because why not? I'm going to set those aside for now, but they're coming back. So I've got my 20 by 20 inch canvas out here and I have all my paints. I don't know if I'm gonna be using all of these or not. We'll see what I do. We'll see how I play. All right. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna lay down 
I'm not covering, I'm not gonna cover the canvas 100%, but I'm gonna lay down a puddle here. Got plenty left in there. And I'm gonna stretch this puddle out. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sort of pull off of each side. But again, I do have plenty left. I think I am gonna need some more. So I'm going to just start with my first cup here. I'm gonna pour this out like a straight cup. That is a pretty cup. And this one I'm gonna do much more ribbony all the way around. That's kind of interesting, like those. Okay, there's really interesting things happening in there. I am gonna stretch this out. I'm gonna see what happens here. Now, I am not done with my ribbons. This is like my first layer of ribbons. I have to stretch this out a bit because that base is, look at that gold. Again, I don't think my gold is gonna sell or pearl, but that is gorgeous. But I do think that other colors are gonna sell in pearl. So it's kind of an experiment of what's gonna sell, what's gonna pearl, what's gonna do what. Now it is important, got a little wonky because I did a lot of stretching, but they're definitely opening. So there's like this, I'm coming back in with a few more ribbons though. I want a few more ribbons, but that is gonna pearl out really well, I think. That olive blue mixed in, this, this, I have to let this develop. <laughs> this is pearling to like an extreme degree, but I know that I want, that is not my gold. I just grabbed the wrong color there. I might do another one. I think I have enough. A slightly smaller, I might do like a sister painting with what I have left on a slightly smaller canvas. Okay, so I know that I wanna see some more gold and I want it to flow through this like empty space here. And I'm gonna really pour it on, like pouring in the gold here. Gold line, there we go. And that can spread out, that can do its thing, that can do whatever it wants. It can do whatever it wants. <laughs> I might stretch it out a little bit. Look at those pearls, they are still coming. Oh, how fun, I'm in love. What a fun technique, pearls are the best. Sorry, I'm a big fan, you guys know this. You guys know this. My little gold river there is going to stretch out and flow off and do its thing. I don't expect it to pearl up, but that is okay. I just want there to be, I wanted there to be that, that you know, that gold. <laughs> I wanted there to be that gold, so I got it. And there we are. But I am in the mood. I want to use up my paints and I want there to be a sister. Okay, so I love how this one is developing over here. You can still see it kind of on the high view of the camera. Um, but I wanna do a little like mini me piece, just partly to use up the paints that I have left over. So I basically did a straight pull pour. Love how it turned out, but I'm gonna do more of a ribbon uh, pour on this one. So I'm gonna use almost everything of what I have left in here, not quite. I always like to reserve just a little bit in case. I don't know why I feel like this anchors, this like tilting it over the side just anchors it a little bit. And I, and get it nice and stretched out, not completely covered because we're gonna stretch it out more. But when you don't stretch it out, the paint will kind of get lost. Um, the more you have it stretched out, the less it'll sink initially. So, and it all depends on what effect you're going for. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my raw umber here. I'm gonna start with my first ribbon and we're just gonna ribbon it all. Ooh. Now that is a lot of brown, I know, but this is a little mini me and I'm kind of trying to step out of my comfort zone and use up my brown. And I'm also gonna go in with this linen. I wanna see what it looks like. And it's good to test out new kind of color combos that you're not 100% sure going, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about going brown dominant. So we'll do it on a little mini test piece. 
Ribbon pours are so fun. You just get to wind them around. There's no right or wrong. Coming in with the olive green and the blue. And I do want to see some more blending of this olive green and blue like I saw in that other painting. So we'll see if I get any. And some gold. Preserving some of that gold. Now we are going to stretch this out. Ooh, that is. <laughs> I think I had a, I think I had more than enough paint on my canvas. I'm almost using the weight of the pour itself to like swirl in some. Now let's see what happens. All the same colors, still going with pearls. Let's see how many we get in this one here. Okay, I don't know if this is full. Look at this though. Look at what has happened here. I walked away for a while. <laughs> I walked away for a while. <laughs> I wasn't quite prepared for what I came back to. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Um, let me get these both laid out so you can see them. I'm gonna go in for a close up on both of them. All right. Okay, so these are both really, really cool paintings and I absolutely love them both and it's funny because they use the exact same colors and they are different canvases which is going to cause the differences in effects but also um, I did you know lay the pour the paint on them differently so here because this was a larger canvas and really got stretched out the pearls just came through because the more you stretch out that that top paint surface, you are gonna allow the pearls to come through. So a larger canvas, you're almost always, I feel, gonna get more prominent pearls because you have more surface area to stretch them out. That's at least my experience. So, but I do love the spots where the colors uh, stay through. It, it, it's these like blue, rich earth tones, but I'm really, really loving it. And these are really awesome and amazing pearls. Some of them in here kept the colors, like the blue mixed in in this little patch, and that's really cool. Um, I would say those paints work very, very well for pearls. Um, I'm going to definitely be using them again. And then my little golden river, you know, it's sank here and there and stay strong. And it, again, it's just my gold accent. You know me and my gold accents. I need to need to need to add a few here and there and then yeah so overall I really enjoy this piece this is again a 20 by 20 canvas now this is a 12 I believe this is a 12 by 12 canvas and it presented itself differently now I still got really incredible pearls and they are still coming up and there are a lot of interesting color mixtures in here I really love how those Wins um, Windsor Newton paints, I'll remember what the name of these paints are guys, I swear, um, kind of blended, that's cool. And yeah, these pearls are also cells. I don't know, it's like they, they did merge and blend. They're really cool and the effects are really cool. But they didn't like, I have a lot more colors in here. Now the blues and the greens and the browns, it all pearled up, but because I didn't stretch that paint out, the, you know, the colors are still, they're stronger. Now the gold is the most resistant to pearls. And I know that from using it before. I, I think metallics in general are more resistant, but I've always found that the, although I did get some, it did pearl up a bit down in this corner here. So that shows even your golds and metallics are gonna pearl if you stretch them thin enough, you know? But really pretty. And again, I don't know if they are completely 100% developed, but I will of course bring you in for the dried results when I'm all done, but I love them both. I think they're spectacular. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments 
as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you momentarily for those dried results. Bye-bye. So I think it's time for me to learn how to hold back on the pearl creation if I want to. I do love them and I'm so happy that I finally have figured out how to get all of these pearls. And they're so, they're actually really cool in here. Like the colors, they kind of, they did blend and I actually like that effect. They're cool. It looks kind of like shadowing. And this gold, it's hard to tell, but the iridescent gold, there you go. It still really does have a nice shimmer. And that's the only metallic I used. So there's just, there's really cool, really cool parts in here. Really fun. It's definitely got my pearl, got my pearls to work guys. And then here is the bare piece. And it just, I mean, the pearls took over on this. There's a few here in the corners. You can still see the blues and the green showing up. And I really love how in here there is like a blending. It's so subtle, but it's quite beautiful. I love it actually. And then there's some kind of shimmery green gold blue up in here. But it pretty much just pearled out completely. And then my Golden River, of course, is still there. So there you have it the dried results the sister pieces i really love how these ones came out thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and again hit that like button subscribe check out links in the description below to my facebook group and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye